UFOs and that even former President Obama is getting interested in this. So I don't know if the Honourable Gentleman wants a debate uh, on, on little green men um, or uh, whatever else may come from outer space. That's, that's a member of the British government reporting back to the SNP, um, asked about the space industry and they bring in the Americans, newspapers are worried about little green men from space coming. So yeah, ah, being put beautiful. into the narrative. Even the latest, the, the latest in trauma-based mind control. How wonderful! Mm -hmm. Outer space is fake. So when they talk about little green men from outer space, there is no outer space. The sky vacuum isn't real. It stands in violation of natural law. We'd all be dead. We wouldn't have any gas to breathe if there was an availability of volume for the gas at pressure which we breathe to fill. Ergo, outer space is fake. There are no little green men coming from a sky vacuum. <laughs> start today now if i've got um we we're talking about ufos the other day um interesting it's been brought up in parliament uh yesterday you have uh, any photos i've got video so the smp raise a question with regards to scotland wanting to be part of any uh space industry that the government's got planned. Um, Jacob Rees-Mogg retorts uh, with a little bit of a stumble, um, saying that, um, yes, um, the Telegraph um, and the Americans are getting excited about people coming from outer space and uh, UFOs, and that even the former President Obama is getting to know, pause it, if the Honourable Gentleman wants a debate on um, little green men. That's that's a member of the British government reporting back to the SNP, um, asked about the space industry, and they bring in the Americans. Newspapers are worried about little green men from space coming. So, yeah, ah, it's been put beautiful. into the narrative. Even the, latest, now. the latest in trauma-based mind control. How wonderful. Mm -hmm. Outer space is fake. So when they talk about little green men from outer space... There is no outer space. The sky vacuum isn't real. It stands in violation of natural law. We'd all be dead. We wouldn't have any gas to breathe if there was an availability of volume for the gas at pressure, which we breathe to fill. Ergo, outer space is fake. There are no little green men coming from a sky vacuum. The thing he did say was, uh, at the beginning of the statement, was he prefaced it with, the whole world's a stage, and out there's a bigger stage. And then no went, way. Yeah. Hold on, um, I was just going to say that. I'll, I'll put the link in... Um, in the war room and, and in Master Bear. I was just going to say, it must be making its rounds because the two sports guys I listened to in the morning on the radio, the one guy was telling the other guy, he went on um, the Joe Rogan podcast, and I think there's a new Neil deGrasse Tyson one on there, and he's like, I'm so blown away at how smart this guy is. He was talking about aliens and getting into everything, and I just wish I had his intellect. I'm like just shaking my head, like, wow, how do you have gas pressure out of container? Can he answer that one question, please? But yeah. yeah. So he's saying, oh, this priest, he's spoken directly with God, so I must trust him. Yeah, he has the world at awe of him. Mm -hmm. Right, let's hear it. Hold on a second. Speaker, earlier this week, the government published uh, a number of statutory instruments regarding the space industry regulations. Um, obviously, we're very keen in, in Scotland to see space taking a, a key part of the economy moving forward. However, the industry have been waiting for many, many months now for the government's space strategy. With these new regulations laid before Parliament this week, some clarity about the strategy would go a long way uh, to helping ensure that we knew where we were going. So could we have a debate in government time to actually discuss the space strategy to see where and what that is actually going to look like. Sorry, so he's, he's asking for a debate on it. Um, I know you said it already, but he hearing him say it in context, for what purpose? I don't really understand. It's not clarified what what we get from it. It's just stating we are interested, aren't they? They're, they're okay. not saying why it would be of benefit. I suppose so you can get more lettuce grown. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, beyond the episode, we don't know. Fine. And, and Madam Deputy Speaker, though I, I fear I may be um, giving a long shot here, I wonder if the leader might join with me in welcoming the, the findings of the Scottish Government's Social Justice and Fairness Commission. Uh, perhaps not, but I'm, I'm sure that the proposal will be welcomed by all of my constituents who are keen to see a fairer and more socially just future for Scotland. Um, could we have a debate in government time to consider how the UK government might learn from the lessons of the approach of the Scottish government in this regard to help to deliver a fairer society? Yeah. The space industry, well, Madam Deputy Speaker, all the world's a stage. But beyond it, there's an even bigger stage for the uh, Honourable Gentleman and others to uh, investigate. And I hear that um, there are reports in the newspapers, I think the Telegraph, uh, that the um, Americans are getting frankly excited about people coming from outer space. And uh, you. Right. So, who, who's this guy? Jacob Rees Mogg. I recognise this guy from uh, Have I Got News For You? Yeah. He's just an MP. Anyway, he's, he's basically saying all the world's stage and the stage that is being presented to people currently in the newspapers is worth looking into. That's what we're getting from this guy. Well, no. The world is the world and its physical reality is not a stage, but you can turn it into one if you want to control the people, which is precisely what the people in government do. Do you hear a bit more? Is there any more, Adam? I think there's about another five or ten seconds, and then he goes on to social justice. So. Okay, let's just listen to that. UFOs, and that even former President Obama is getting interested in this. So I don't know if the Honourable Gentleman wants a debate uh, on, on little green men, um, or uh, whatever else may come from out of space, uh, but the government is developing a strategy. It is an important uh, part of the future that so much um, space investment is, is going on, and that will be a United Kingdom-wide uh, activity. It goes on then. Okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing that, Adam. It's a sham. It's a stage. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. Well, I have everybody looking up, right? Well, we can say, how do you have the gas pressure, dude? Well, there's two ways of looking at this. Uh, the way we are now dissecting it, uh, because we understand the argument, or what they're doing to the sheep, getting them ready for the next show. Uh, you know, Nathan Oakley is f my f favorite right now. I love Nathan Oakley. Yeah, me too. He demolishes Absolutely. people. Nathan Oakley, 1980. Follow his, uh, he does flat earth debates every day, mm. live, live streams, flat earth yeah. debates. Anybody could get on and, uh, you know, and, and debate him. And he just demolishes everybody. <laughs>